Hello, Tarot friends. Welcome to our uh, timeless Earth, Air, Fire, and Water readings. No, so this is a general reading. So just take what resonates with you. At the same time, this is timeless. So if you encounter it today, then this is <clears throat> this reading is for you for today. Okay. So uh, this uh, we have here the um, Star Seed Oracle card, from which we will get the message from our from the divine and the universe or the universe and then uh, okay okay we, hope we do not the limited space okay so let's see uh, let's let's look at it later <laughs> now this is for uh, the message from our archangels no and the angels as represented by our archangels okay okay let's see what is the message let's take one okay so that's it we will look at it later and then this is for our spirit animals so last week we had it last monday you know the earth air fire and water now uh, we're going to start the week again with our earth air fire and water reading let's uh, see let's see what is uh, what awaits us for this week okay okay and finally for messages from our ancestors we will be using the shaman's dream oracle Okay. Okay. So we we'll get one here. Okay. Now <clears throat> we will try to see what is the uh, what is our reading for t for this week using the earth, air, fire, and water. For the earth, we will shuffle it now and try to see what is the card that we can get. okay so for the earth we have the hermit okay the hermit we have the hermit as for our air by the way we are using the giant tarot weight rider weight tarot no so we made it giant so that it's easy to look at them so uh, we have the hermit for the air we have element of air we have oh okay the ten of swords okay so let's see this is the air so that we will not mix it this is the earth and then this is water okay For water, we have wow, the three of cups. Okay, it's, it's like uh, there is a celebration as a, after the the pain. Okay. <laughs> Finally, for fire, for the element of fire, what we have is C, number four, the four of wands. Very good. Okay, so let's see. So please, please guide us, spirit, so that we will have a good reading. Okay, I hope you can see it. Yeah, more or less, that's it. Okay the four and the ten okay the numbers four and ten okay so what we have right here right now is uh it seems that you have a chapter was close where it was a bit painful for you you know 
whatever it is, it, it seems like you have been stabbed in the back and all your chakras were affected. No? All your chakras were affected no? from the basal chakra up to uh, the third eye. Well, at least the crown was spared. Okay? <laughs> but almost all your chakras were, were affected. So it means that it was really a terrible situation where, where it really affected your whole being. It might have even weakened you, you know, um, may, might have drained you of your energies. You know? there might, the, the situation might have drained you of your energy and you felt helpless you know? and uh, you just surrendered yourself to the situation. But then after a while, the sun started to rise. You know? uh, there is a predominating darkness, but the sun started to rise. And I think that situation led you to have moments of contemplation deep in Swiss reflection and you needed it because you needed it because you needed to recover you needed to recover from the incident that you had no so for a certain period of time you were in solitude and in silence you were contemplating towards yourself reflecting maybe uh, realizing that there are certain things that are really uh, what that you thought important before you're starting to realize that they are just shallow and are not really very important so you had to undergo transformation and the transformation was mostly within mostly within so there was a moment after this closing of this chapter you underwent a moment wherein you were alone and spending time reflecting on the incident that was you no know? and the change even though as if you were in an in an inactivity maybe you were spending more time in your room or maybe spending more time in the working in the garden whatever it is maybe you after the work instead of socializing you just went home you no know? so for for some of you you had undergone really uh, more time just being on your own but in your inactivity people were not aware that many things were happening inside happening inside and because of the changes within you you came out a different person you from a very very trying moment you ended up becoming a very positive person you were able to appreciate more the little things in life you are able to to celebrate in the little things you see here uh, people celebrated very simply just being together it was already a celebration i don't know if there is a wedding you no know? if somebody came into your life if you but uh, i know is that you are looking at every day every moment of your life right now as a moment of celebration every day you are thankful of the little things maybe it's because of this one no so because of the darkness you appreciate more the light because of the rain you appreciated more the colors of the rainbow so it's more like that you became a simpler person for you it's easier for you to find the joy in life why because you've gone through a lot of trials you've gone through the storm and so for you the, the the little rays of the sun the little things in life are already a source of joy for you and a source of celebration and then you also realize who are the ones that are really really important in your life you no know? and now you celebrate those moments with these people these people who really stayed with you throughout the trial moment you because of the trial you found who your true friends are and maybe it even bonded you to your family and so you celebrate whenever you see your friends you find joy in seeing them because you already appreciate the authenticity of the friendship that they have with you so it seems that after the trial of undergone your life become became simpler and lighter and your outlook in life becomes became lighter and, and much more you have undergone transformation for you it's, it's easier for you to it's easier for people to make you happy <laughs> the little things in life you're already happy in fact you don't need other people to make you happy you just little you just see a little grace coming from the divine you immediately find joy in them okay so let's see what the divine has to say to you breath of the cosmos my will to thy will micromanaging the universe breath of the cosmos you are in touch you see here this lady she just allows herself to float in the in outer space no and she's breathing the grace of the cosmos you are living right now a life that is dependent on the divine uh, my will to thy will so it's like your will is my will 
Okay, this is beautiful. It's uh, it's like you allow yourself to be guided by the unseen hand of the divine. You are more docile. You're like a child that allows your, you allow yourself to be guided by your parent. No, you you know that the divine will always protect you and will not bring you to any harm. So it seems that you have a deeper relationship now, uh, more of a filial relationship with the divine. Now you are the child of the universe, the child of the cosmos, the child of the divine. You allow yourself to be guided, and you just bask in the presence of the divine. It's beautiful. Magician's sword, confidence in your magic. Okay, at the same time, no, you appreciated now the beautiful things that the divine have given you. And you are able to recognize whatever gifts the divine has given you and you are now able to use them. So you are like the magician or on, on number one in the major arcana wherein he has all the tools and you know also that you have all the tools and now you are learning how to utilize them you have confidence that these tools are just what you needed in order to continue your journey into this world. At the same time, creative writing. Okay, Archangel Gabriel, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen, an article or a book. Okay, it seems that you are being encouraged because of these wonderful things that is happening in your life right now. Uh, you are being encouraged by the angels to write down to write down whatever experiences you have. I guess it's because so that you can come back to them and gain more insights. You know, as you mature into things, what you've written right now, a year after when you come back, you will have more insights than what you have now. It's because you have grown. Every time you grow, when you look at the things that you write, you will have greater insights. So this is the message from the angels. This is the message from your ancestors. The ancestors are telling, you already have it in your genes. <laughs> your ancestors are saying you already have the ability to make it through your journey in your genes. We already gave you through your genes, through our, uh, you inherited it from us. You already have the materials and the ability, the tools to accomplish your mission now. Okay, and the angels are saying, please write down your experiences, no? So that you can look back at them and reflect on them later on. Now, our spirit animal is the donkey, no? Okay, the donkey, is an animal of service no keep your heart open no matter what okay so there's this openness no your heart is open to love the donkey serves unconditionally he he quietly carries the burden of life and and when when he produces the sound I mean, it's very very funny no when the when the donkey sings it makes people laugh no <laughs> so it's the same no you you can be the source of happiness to the people around you when you sing your song, you bring cheer to the people around you. At the same time, you have this ability to give unconditional love. You you can walk a certain distance carrying a burden for somebody. So this is the ability to to love uh, unconditionally. You are able to sacrifice things. No? But at the same time, you need to take good care of yourself. Okay, so uh, the, the donkey, if he continuously works, he will break down okay so the donkey needs time to drink water needs time to rest no needs time to sleep so at the same time so you need to balance everything at this present time you're able to balance it just continue maintain it no continue and maintain this balance so that things will go well so i, I think uh, you have just closed the chapter already and things are looking well for you i am happy for that well uh, I hope this resonated with some of you who have read it. I hope this has been a help to you. Until our next timeless earth, air, fire and water. May God bless you and keep you safe and nurture you in his cosmic arms. Goodbye.